ומנסים כבוד עולים להציג בפניך את שגרירת מפעל. So Hebrew is excellent. <laughs> I would like to welcome you to the state of Israel and uh, to the capital of the city of Israel, the city of Jerusalem, the city of God, the city of peace, and the capital of the state of Israel. Um, we are in this year celebrating 60 years of connections and relationship, diplomatic relationship and official friendship uh, between uh, our state and uh, your uh, state and your people. I must say that everyone in Israel, uh, when he learns geography, <coughs> he learns about Nepal, and the Himalaya, and the beautiness of uh, the uh, Middle South Asia. Uh, many, many of our youth are really very eager and anxious, not of around when we can do it, uh, to climb the mountains and to be at your beautiful uh, uh, state and land. I must say that uh, they appreciate very much the people of Nepal, that they are so friendly and so really know how to treat guests that come to your, to your places. We also here in the region appreciate very much the uh, help of uh, uh, Nepal to uh, bring uh, and to try to bring peace to the Middle East in, uh, in the uh, uniform and in, uh, und, uh, in, 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 in every forces of the United Nations you are doing great job and you are very, very uh, precise once you are fulfilling the duty of the uh, um, United Nations forces. I must say that uh, most of the time you are helping us uh, because you believe that we are on the right side uh, when we are dealing with the problems that we have uh, towards the, um, uh, our, the people who don't agree exactly to the very idea of the existence of Israel as a state, when we appreciate that very much. We have a few hundreds of your students every year in our country. They feel very well along with us, and afterwards, when they return back uh, to the homeland, to Nepal, 
they become real great ambassadors for us. Uh, we are trying in our region, and I know that you are all the time quite involved once we are talking about um, uh, the international organization, about what is going on in here. We are trying to show the whole world that there is no gap between Israel as a Jewish state and democratic one. We have to prove it today, <coughs> and we should prove it every day. But uh, for the last 70 years, we managed uh, to bring so many Jewish people from all over the world, from 70 different uh, diasporas. And uh, we did it. We did it because the Jewish people have, want, have really wanted and prayed to return back to their homeland after 2,000 years. I know that the people of Nepal appreciate that very much. And we feel it with a lot of gratitude to you. And we are looking forward. We can extend our relationship. We can do a lot more. Uh, I remember that uh, the minute we had to help you as much as you are helping us, uh, when the earthquake uh, occurred in, the, in your country, we immediately sent the people, not because we wanted to show a good faith toward Nepal. We did it out of humanity, out, out of the values that we believe in, because we know that you will do the same if it will be needed, uh, that you can help us. And we appreciate very much your really attitude uh, supporting Israel in most of the cases that uh, um, some decisions are being brought to the organization, international organization, uh, against Israel only <coughs> from political uh, point of view and not uh, uh, to really uh, deal with something that uh, they can solve. And you are standing most of the time behind us. We appreciate that very much. To have such good friends uh, sending the new ambassador and the, the husband of the new ambassador, and I know that uh, you will feel at home here in uh, Israel. And uh, it's not too difficult to, leave to, 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 to feel at home in Israel. You find it immediately. We are welcoming you from the bottom of our heart. Welcome, Madam Ambassador. Welcome uh, and send my best regards uh, to all the people of uh, Nepal because we consider them as great friends. Welcome. Salam Adoni Hanasi, Lekha Godhuri, Libko Sotka. It is my great honor and very much privilege to meet you, Your Excellency, and meeting with you at this August gathering. Um, I arrived here only one week and uh, I found a very beautiful country <coughs> and very glorious and uh, a very efficient and advanced country. I am very much confident that uh, I would expect that uh, the government of Israel would extend its enormous uh, hands of cooperation to Nepal, Nepal's uh, development endeavors mm -hmm. in uh, different fields such as transfer of technology in agriculture sector and education sector irrigation sector, uh, health sector, uh, IT sector, and so on. Uh, I'm here and I brought uh, some good resources, best resources for you, Your Excellency, Thank you. from our Right Honorable President and Prime Minister. They wish you your long life with good health, peace, <coughs> and happiness, and all round of success in your life, Your Excellency. Your president is going to be to be one of our guests next year, no? Yes, and uh, yeah, I hope to be very present. It's going to be an ambassador. It will be very eager. Ceremony for that. And uh, uh, my president and prime minister would like to invite you uh, as a state visit to Nepal and government of Nepal and Nepali people would be very much happy to welcome you, Your Excellency, in Nepal very soon. 
I have to make some training in order to get to the first station on the Himalaya. <laughs> Otherwise, they would say the president of Israel is not trying. Now, thanks. It's not so fun. I know. <laughs> I know everything about it, I don't know how to climb it. <laughs> you have much more experience, Your Excellency. <laughs> and uh, I would like to um, uh, just uh, let me have some few words about the recent uh, development of uh, mm -hmm. in, uh, political scenario in Nepal uh, in these recent years. Now, after promulgation of our constitution in 2015, we are having political sta stability and stable government and also we insert into a new system, uh, Federal Democratic Republic of Nepal. Mm -hmm. And the current government uh, is led by Right Honorable Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli. He enjoys two-third majority in our federal parliament. And uh, uh, our uh, Prime Minister very rightly and wisely presented uh, Nepal's studio economic development with his much repeated motto, prosperous Nepal, happy Nepali. And with his guidance, um, Nepal is moving towards developing country by 2022 uh, from least developed country and uh, uh, with least <coughs> middle uh, income country by 2030. Mm -hmm. And we are at the stage uh, in the process of uh, to enhance our economic development. So at this period, the uh, support and cooperation will make a big, huge sense and uh, very outstanding uh, remembrance for us at this moment. Um, and uh, also, uh, our foreign policy is also rightly guided by our right honorable prime minister, uh, amity with all and amity with none. And we, we are following the same foreign policy uh, in our mission also. Uh, and Your Excellency, my government uh, sent me here for tangible contributions to enhance, uh, to expand and deepen our bilateral relations. Um, and uh, our Israel, actually, Your Excellency just uh, uh, announced it. Uh, you have just presented it that Israel is one of our oldest diplomatic and politi uh, political relations we have. We established our diplomatic relations since 1960. So we, we are very much close that we can say. And Nepal is one of the uh, first <coughs> countries in South Sorry. Asia to uh, recognize uh, Israel. At that situation then, the, we, our Prime Minister, late Prime Minister, Bibi Goyala, has very sympathy and very have feelings on it and he did it or whatever that cause makes some sense in Nepal also but uh, we Nepali people and uh, we have feelings uh, about uh, at that time that uh, Israeli people have to face very struggle time at that moment uh, and uh, uh, your excellency that I, I would also uh, do my best I will also uh, do my sincere uh, efforts to make to enhance and deepen our bilateral relations. Uh, I would uh, also make uh, very close relations uh, to, make, to bring uh, two governments and two people uh, very closely together uh, for benefit of us. Uh, and- uh, uh, You will uh, help every effort that you would uh, make sure. <laughs> and, uh, I feel that Your Excellency, uh, that uh, I will also explore the various fields in both countries, Nepal and Israel as well, in various fields, what we can do, collaborate, cooperations between us uh, in terms of technology enhancement. Mm -hmm. And also we can have uh, um, exchanges uh, like um, uh, uh, this uh, high level dignitaries and officials also. And we would like to establish uh, Centers of excellence in our provinces in Nepal. So, Your Excellency, it will uh, make a huge uh, change in our country for our people, youth people also. We are ready to cooperate and to, I'm not saying to help because you can help us as much as we can yes. help you. It's a mutual connection that uh, could bring 
a lot of benefit to both sides. We have to uh, see how many interests and mutual benefits uh, as well as the uh, And I would also make my course uh, to collaborate with private sectors of both the countries. And, uh, Excellent. Thank you, Excellency. And we are having investment summit in uh, 29, uh, 30 March in 2019. So I would like to uh, encourage uh, many uh, private sectors to participate in uh, our investment summit mm -hmm. and uh, which they benefit from that summit also. Uh, and, uh, uh, and another, we have to concentrate and we couldn't stay behind that people-to-people uh, -people relations is very important uh, and in terms of that uh, we can experience our scholars, professionals and skilled um, uh, youth entrepreneurs, artists uh, from diverse fields and culture and literatures that we can collaborate and cooperate uh, by the exchanges uh, of the business of them. And also I would not uh, lag behind your excellency to convey um, uh, the uh, good uh, wishes and uh, mm, uh, uh, interest of the uh, government of Israel to uh, Nepal government. And also I would not uh, uh, stay behind that unmoved, that I would convey uh, my mm, uh, government's good wishes and ideas, views uh, to the government of Israel, to your excellency. <coughs> and uh, I'm very much pleased uh, that your excellency give me so precious uh, time uh, for your very uh, valuable time to meet your excellency. So friendly. <laughs> 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 it's a, it's a real feeling to be so Thank you. I offer myself of this opportunity mm -hmm. that you express the um, uh, assurances of my highest consideration and I would extend uh, my sincere personal gratitude to you, your excellency you for so your uh, gracious uh, Okay. And also I would like to extend my sincere uh, thanks uh, to uh, Chief of Protocols and Senior Officers of the Minister, uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Israel. Uh, thank you so much indeed for that. Moment. You are most welcome. <laughs> you know, this is the next uh, phrase in Hebrew that you have. is welcome. welcome. Okay, you see. <laughs> Let's raise a toast to the people of the past, to the president of the past, to all the countries that have the the high to be, to life, to life. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you so very much. Long live Nepal Israel friendship. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so very much. Thank you. Let's let's look to the cameras. Thank you. Thank you.